Well, Alan, we had an all-out battle tonight at Phil Danaher Field. Now, much like Cal Allen, San Benito is a talented team coming off an undefeated regular season last year and also making a deep playoff run like the Wildcats. So who would come out on top in this clash of Class 5A and 6A? Let's take a look. The Wildcats roaring onto Phil Danaher Field for the 2018 season, hosting a formidable opponent in San Benito. Coach Phil Danaher trying to get his team back to the postseason. The Cal Allen defense the first to make a statement. With the Greyhounds pinned back near the goal line, the Wildcat D swarms the running back in the end zone. It's a safety. Wildcats up to zip. Then the ground game gets going. Check out senior running back Shannon Price gets the carry, takes it all the way to the house, 50 plus yards. With the PAT, the Wildcats up nine to nothing to end the first. And the Cal Allen student section fired up. Next quarter, San Benito threatening inside the Wildcats five yard line, but the Cal Allen D stepping up and cornerback Nick Elizondo breaks through for the quarterback sack. Wildcats hold off the Greyhound. San Benito settles for a field goal. Cal Allen now leading nine three. Wildcats get the ball back with a minute left until the break and they waste no time. Quarterback Rivers Roy airs it out to who again? Shannon Price, who gets the second TD of the night. This one a 56 yard pass, but the extra point attempt was blocked by San Benito and at the half the Wildcats were up 15 to 3. And after trading touchdowns in the third quarter, it would come down to a big play in the fourth quarter by the Wildcats offense that would give them the win over San Benito tonight. The final Cal Allen 28, San Benito 21. And here to tell us more about that big play is Cal Allen head coach Phil Danaher. Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, tell us about the design of that play. Again, a, about a 77 yard run from Jared Garza. Uh, 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 give us the feel for that, uh, for calling that play at that time. Well, it really came down to we'd been watching the way they've been adjust they were adjusting the different formations of ours, and we kind of saved that towards the end in case we needed a big play. So it got down where they came and tied it up, and I said if we're going to win, we're going to have to get it down. We only had what four seconds, uh, four minutes, excuse me, I think left in the game, and so we were able to pop it. You know, it, it, a, a quarterback keep, right? And Jarrett saw the seam and he hit it up in there. He got good speed. He outran him. Yeah. So. Uh, no, we had, we had seen the way they'd been adjusting to us, and then we just kind of put it in our back pocket until we needed it, and then we pulled it out. And it was just at the right time. <laughs> yeah, it was at the right time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was. All right, Coach, well, we want to congratulate you on tonight's win. We know you have a tough matchup against Flower Bluff next week, and we'll be there. So we'll see more of what happens next week, okay? Okay. It ought to be a good game. It always is for Flower Bluff. They're for sure. Good, for good, sure. Good program. Yes. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank All you right. so much.